everyone today i'm reviewing my eight inch uh, digital frame now this is going to be almost impossible for you to see a clear picture or anything similar um because it's a it's it's a screen and the camera does not um does not focus properly and then you've got the glare if i remove the protective layer it's even worse okay you do get the idea and i'm going to go through the make through the basics and what you must know what I found out okay, here at the back we have the charging cable and this charging cable is a must it needs to be plugged into the mains it comes with a three pin plug adapter um, you can't use a you know a battery bank or a charger as such it needs to be plugged to the mains um, the cable is around 110 centimeters around 3.6 feet almost um, then we have micro USB in case you have a micro USB memory device where you've got your videos or your pictures it can go and that's an input so the media will get through that device into a digital frame the USB it's actually an output so I'm gonna get my an iPhone and I'm gonna plug it into the USB and then it charges the phone that's what that's there for then don't actually ask me why or why it would be used i wouldn't use it but it has a 3.5 um, audio jack entry to listen to the music that you have and then as you can see it clicks the sd card it has a 64 gigabyte card at the moment with a big adapter if you have uh, the micro or the nano cards you need the adapter to use them in case you lose the remote which is this little thing here you've got you can control the whole digital frame through the back because it has on and off it has the mode and the menu you can literally navigate with up and down for different options and then within each option left or right to choose play to select this is the foot to have it on your desk you can place it here as i had it right now and that would give you a more um, lower profile or you can have it here on the corner and it will stand taller there we go like a frame i hope you can appreciate that on the on the camera no you can also hang it on the wall and um, the profile that the frame has this profile here gives you plenty of space for the cable to go flush on the frame but you will have the cable obviously coming down that would be the entry point there um, to hang on the wall with your own wall plug um, and either screw or hook whichever you wish to use now the resolution is 1280 times 800 if you use a higher resolution picture uh, which is 1920 and 1080 it is supported so it will play it but it's simply going to play it at 1280 times 800. It doesn't have Wi-Fi, um, so the only way, or Bluetooth, the only way you can upload media is by the micro USB or the SD card. And as mentioned, the SD card inserted, it's 64 and it's reading it, no problem. If you upload music files and you upload um, video or... Um, normal pictures it will select automatically which is the music for um the, the the you know which ones are the audio files for the music and the pictures etc from the main screen you've got a calendar photo music video calendar browser and you've got settings same as remote the greens used for yes um, turn on and off with the red you've got photo music movies exit calendar now setup <coughs> well i do need to tell you because maybe it was just me but i went into a calendar mode like such and i had my pictures on slide here with the up and down arrows you can change the months okay so we're in september so september and then with the right and left you can choose the date and then I thought, oh my God, it's not accepting. The enter's not working. 
it's not um you know it's simply not working it's not setting the time not setting the date because you can't set the date and time through the calendar function you can only set the date and time through the setup function the calendar function is just for you to have it there on top of your desk with the nice light shows while it reminds you what date is and the time now on settings you've got photo setup to access, you play, you press enter, and then it goes right. You do need to aim at this part here, which is um, what the remote uh, receives the signal, the PR, PR signal. You got display mode. You can go down. You got music, display ratio, slide speed, slide show repeat, slide show effect, slide mode photo random slideshow so you can choose basically um, if you want the pictures to come randomly or in the same sequence as you uploaded them in the SD card etc side mode uh, slide mode sorry you can have one picture to up to four four different frames on the same screen on the slideshow effect you've got plenty to choose from um, you have random, flying, chessboard, cut, erase, louvre, random line, reverse, cube, rotate, off, and then again starts at random. Now when you are in this menu and you want to come out because you want to go into calendar setup, you don't press enter, you simply press exit, and then you're back here on the side. I oh, pressed it twice. Don't press it twice. Okay, so let's go back to setup. Let's go enter. So we're here on display mode. See, it's, that's highlighted blue. Hopefully, you'll be able to see. So I'm going to press exit once. And that's going to take me back to here. There we go. So I can do calendar setup. And here is where you do the time, the date. You can set the alarm, alarm time and alarm frequency. You can also do the video setup um, as if you want to keep playing in random. That also happens with the photo setup. Here in a slideshow repeat, if you don't have that as on, once it's played the 50, let's say 50 to put an example, pictures, it stops. Um, as long as you have that on, on, it continues. Same with the music. And system, basically, language, scale, brightness. I've just left everything 50, 50, 50. Um, I've turned off the power off or the power on. But you can set um, when do, would you like uh, for it to be turned on and off. So all in all, quality-wise, it's good. I'm going to go back um, to the main I have uploaded some pictures here, not that unfortunately you're going to be able to see them, I'm ever so sorry. Picture quality is good, although it's at 1280 times 800, um, don't be disappointed by that at all. It's cheap and it does what it's meant to. What would I improve? Remote, I like, you know, nice, sleek, black digital frame, so my taste should come with a black remote. but. It's the frame that counts, not the remote. I've uploaded super great quality pictures and also others that are smaller. You'll see when they're smaller, they don't have enough pixels to fill up the page. They're going to come out um, in a smaller way. Um, I just wish you could actually see the brightness, the clarity, the picture's good. It's affordable and it's dust. it does what it says on the tin. So in this case, the box. So, yeah, for me, it's a thumbs up, and hopefully this has helped someone so they don't click calendar and spend 20 minutes trying to set a date that does not save, because you've got to do it from the setup, but that goes for me, and that's exactly what I've done. I'm sure you'll have better luck than me. <laughs> Directly to setup, guys. Well, thanks a lot for watching.